to do here is uh, talk briefly about two different types of means that we use in finance. So what I have here is uh, these are going to be stock market returns. So SPY is, that's ETF tracks the S&P 500. So this is the market. Right? Uh, so let's say in three years we have uh, the first year the, the stock market returned 20%. The following year uh, it went down by 3%. And then uh, the third year uh, it went up by 8%. Then the first type of mean, the mean that you're probably most familiar with, uh, is called the arithmetic mean. Uh, and that is we simply, uh, the assumption here is we look at this and we say, okay, each of these was equally likely. Uh, so this is where we, uh, we just multiply each by one third. So one third times 20%, uh, you know, one third times negative 3% plus one third times 8%. Of course, the easier way of writing that is just simply to sum them up and divide by three. So sum up all the returns, divide by the number of years. That gives us 8.33%. Now, when do we use this return? So the big thing here is, uh, I highly recommend Excel will calculate this for you. The calculation of this isn't the problem. The big thing that you want to get from this is, when do you use each type of return? So when is this type of return appropriate? So the idea is that somebody asked me, what do you expect the market to do next year? then I would use your arithmetic return. I'd say, okay, I expect the market to return 8.33% if I'm going to use a mean for that. But that, that would be an appropriate use of, of a, an arithmetic mean. So again, the way you would use your arithmetic mean is if somebody said, well, what do you expect the market to do next year? Uh, then we can go with this. Now, the geometric mean answers a different question. So what the geometric mean is going to answer is, if I own the market over this period, what was my annual return? Right? That is not what the arithmetic mean says. So if we want to get that, then remember, if we invest in the market at the, at the beginning of the first year, well, uh, our returns are going to compound. Right? So, uh, uh, so what we're going to do with the geomet geometric mean is take into account this compounding. So the idea here is we earn 20% uh, uh, in the first year, uh, lose 3%, and then we, we uh, earn 8%. So, um, you know, taking into account compounding, we have one, uh, 1 1.02 times 0.97 times 1.08, and then we take the third, the cube root of it, right? So, uh, in your calculator, this, uh, well, if, you, if I were to enter this into Excel, I would take these three numbers and raise it to the power of one third. Uh, of course, um, this is, you know, if, if this number here is x, then this is just the cube root of x. It's another way to write the same thing. So if I take the, the cube root of this, I get an uh, annual return of 7.93%. So when do I use this mean? Uh, if somebody says, how much did you earn per year? Then I would say, okay, well, I made 7.93% per year. If someone were to say, what, do you, what return do you expect the market, you know, what's your expected market return next year? I would say 8.33%. So the idea here is, you know, uh, as you go through your degree in finance, you build a toolbox, right? So the idea is you use the appropriate tool to answer the question, right? So, so now you should know when you use your arithmetic mean and when you use the, ge the, the geometric mean. If you're looking for an exercise, a very simple proof would be you can prove the arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to the geometric mean. Uh, not a tough proof. Also, if you want to look a little bit deeper into these things, uh, uh, this is definitely not required. But um, one of the assumptions we make when we use the arithmetic mean like this in finance is we assume uh, E R G O P I C. We assume uh, it, these returns have an ergodic property, and that basically means if I take, I can take a time series mean, and it's equivalent to taking a mean of the cross section. Because what we really want to do here is say, you know, I want to take a. a, a I want to take a mean over all the states of the world. So basically what we're saying here is I can uh, take a mean over time. It's like the same as taking a mean over all different states of the world. So if you're wondering about that, how can we look back in time and assume that, uh, that uh, you know, that, that that's what we expect next year. That we're kind of using that. Uh, we're assuming that the returns are ergodic. Good. Have a great afternoon.